Hey everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom, and today we're gonna do, I think, another uh, fun little video um, as I get ready. And as you can see, I have no makeup on. I washed my hair. It's up in one of those twisty turbo, turby towels, whatever they're called. Um, pajama top on. So I'm going to get dressed and go out and run a couple of errands, but I've put all my skincare on. And if you are interested, I think I have what I usually use skincare wise below uh, in the show more box, description box under the video. Just put my sunscreen on. And I wanted to uh, sort of kill two birds with one stone here this morning. Oh, and by the way, this is not a tutorial. It is not a tutorial. So as I, if I walk through things and don't talk or mention what I'm using, I will list it below. This is not about technique. It, it's just how I'm doing my makeup today and what I'm using. So uh, we'll just so you understand. And by the way, everything I do put on my face, I will list below also. But we'll do my makeup and then I'll probably get dressed and then I may show you blowing out my hair and what I'm gonna do with it today. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do with it, but maybe that'll be at the very end of this because I don't think I've done a hair tutorial in a long, long, long time. I keep looking down because I'm looking at everything I have here. Uh, I saw someone talk about this product, by the way. It's from Beauty Pie, made in Italy, super luminous, under eye genius, brightening corrector. I've been using it, oh gosh, for a month maybe. I can't remember. It may have been pretty over 50 uh, who talked about this, but... I don't know that it does anything, but it's supposed to hydrate, I think, and maybe do a little bit of concealing. So I'm gonna just dab. Some of that own. You can see what it looks like. It seems to be very moisturizing. You know, <laughs> I've been watching videos like I'm sure many of you have, and I need to wipe my hands here, and uh, about resolutions. And of course, it's that time of the year when we're all probably thinking about resolutions. And I've been there. I, I like many of you. I know I have been there. I have made a ton of resolutions. Uh, by the way, I'm using the Doll 10 Dior Skin Concealer, and I'm using the light medium. And I have this little glass palette thingy that I'm going to put just a little bit on there, you can see. And then, oh, we need a brush. What do I have? Okay. This will work. It's just... Uh, a Sigma Precision Angled P84, just, you know, any kind. So I'm gonna, I have these spots here. I'm gonna sort of correct, and I have, by the way, I have my mirror right here. Many of you have ask what mirror I use. Back when we were in the condo and I was sitting at the kitchen counter to do my um, get ready with me's for you, I would use an old Walmart mirror that I've had for probably 15 years, 20 years, that was 
reversible. It would regular, normal vision on one side, 10 times, I think, on the other. And I used that up until several years ago. A company contacted me about about well they wanted to send me a mirror and you can't see it here but if I can find it I don't even know the brand of it but it's a much taller mirror it's and it it's the same I think just no, no magnification on one side ten times on the other uh, you flip it, maybe you can see me flip it if you need it. It also, and I'll turn it on so that you can hear it. You hear it? It has a fan in the stem of it, and it has two speeds on it. I'm not going to keep that fan on because it's uh, loud. So, but this was really expensive. It, I think it was in the $100 range. And I, I'm going to be honest with you, I would have never purchased this for myself, but I love it. I really do love it. I like the fact that the fan is in it. That's what I like about it. And, you know, especially in the summertime when you're getting dressed, when you're putting your makeup on and you have your hair dryer going, it, it gets hot and that really helps. I'm using NARS. Um, this is the Soft Matte Complete Foundation and I'm using Medium One. And again, I'm going to put it on the other end here, and hopefully that will be enough. I've been using this for a while, and one of the reasons I like this foundation is it, um, it I don't have to use a powder on top of it. So I need to get a brush here. I'm just going to use one of these little Sephora brushes. It's a Pro Mini Flawless. I use whatever I have handy. I have some dirty ones that I need to wash, so I'm going for clean ones. So I'll just put this on. Um, so I've been, well, I've been watching New Year's resolution type videos, a bunch of them. It's always interesting to see what res resolutions people are interested in making. And of course, like always, many of them are about losing weight, going on a diet, Um, exercising, and I stopped making official New Year's resolutions several years ago. Never did follow through with them. Always tuning and tweaking what I do. If I, it can be July, and I can decide that. I need to change something, or I want to change something, because, you know, needing and wanting, I've always said, are two different things, whether it's in things we buy or things we do. We have to really, I think, to make any real changes um, to our health, especially. I'm sorry, my watch is ringing here. To make any real changes, we have to really want to do it. I mean, really want to do it. Uh, gonna do this. I have started doing my foundation. If I put it on my neck, working upwards, I, my neck is in such pitiful shape that I feel like if when I do, I, I do my creams all up, but when I put my foundation on, I put it, I go down. Why? Let's see who this is. Oh my gosh. These are the biggest interior trends of 2022. See, and that's exactly what we're talking about today is what's, what's going to be different about 2022? Are we, am I, going to do anything any different? Maybe, maybe not. Um, 
you know, I, have a lot of bad habits. I have some good ones, but I have a lot of bad ones, or some. And some, if I feel they're bad enough, I'll work on them. I have a, I have a little basket here that I'm gonna put stuff in so that I'll remember what I've used. So let's see, we need the foundation. We need the concealer. Okay, we're good. So, oh, that. So, you know, we, we know. We know, we know changes we need to make. I don't know, I, I guess we see the new year as new beginnings and a chance to start over. I've sort of always felt that I can start over any time. I'm, I'm always learning from my mistakes. This is a new eyebrow pencil that I dug out. And you'll see me using some Doll 10 products today. I was going through some things that I moved and I just hadn't unpacked. And I found some makeup that doll, sent, doll 10 sent me in PR last year. And I forgot, well, with the move, I forgot about it. I've been, I've been using it this week, and I'm, I tell you, I'm really liking it. I hope, if you're interested in any of this, that some of it is still available. I don't know. But... I'll check for you. I like this pencil. This is taupe. It's, um, let me look at it here. It's called the Overachiever Precision Microblading Pencil in Taupe. Okay, there we go. Eyebrows. And then I am going to use, I saw Laura Geller, in fact, I ordered the Today Special, and see, there you go. I can't say I'm not going to order anything new, but she, I used to use her eyeliners all the time, and for some reason, I stopped using them. Don't, well, you know how we do, but they said on QVC that uh, her eyeliners, her Cajol eyeliners, are the number one selling eyeliner on QVC. So I thought, well, let's just pull those babies out and use them. Can you tell a difference? Just lining the inside We'll stop that. And by the way, this is navy blue coal. Okay. What am I going to do? I think, let me reach for it here. I think I'm going to use a cream eyeshadow today. And, oops. That one is empty. Nope. Try this one. I need to put that in my empties. I don't know if you're interested in seeing an empties, but I've got a little basket of empties I keep over here. If you want to see it, let me know what I've what I've used and I up and I can tell you whether or not I would repurchase it. One thing I'm really trying to do is I am trying to go through all of my um, concealers. I have a slew of concealers. So I'm trying to go through all of those. Um, I will tell you too that I have decided that I have an obsession when it comes to foundation. I, I love foundations. I haven't met very many foundations that I don't like. 
I thought about doing maybe a series of them since I have so many and I can't resist buying more. Just um, maybe doing Foundation Friday and using one foundation and let that be the focus of the video. And then I can let you know how it wears and if it's tacky. See, the, this is not tacky at all. I think that's why I like it. I'm sure it's because it's matte. I don't have a problem with foundation staying on. They seem to all, if they're a true foundation, whether they're, you know, if, usually if they're a light or a medium coverage, I can apply it thick enough. I'm not this way about, um, I'm not this way about eyeshadow palettes, although I love them and I have too many. I can resist them. I can really resist them. But we're doing a one shadow eyeshadow today. But I don't, I just don't need it. I tell you what, I've got, this is another Laura Geller. It's the, um, Dark brown coal. Let me see here. I'm going to just pull my lid tight and draw a line. Smudge it with my finger a bit. I think the reason they said these are so popular is because they last. And I will say they're soft. And I think if I wanted to, let's see, yep. If I wanted to use it even as an eyeshadow, I could. Just like that cream. Just have to work with it before it dries. Okay, good. So, New Year's resolutions. I haven't made New Year's resolutions. Listen, I didn't learn any lessons. Oh, by the way, I've seen, I love Cindy, Palm Springs Cindy. I know y'all watch Cindy, and, and I will link Cindy down below because if you don't watch her, she has to be one of the funnest content creators here on YouTube. She's just so much fun. She just says it like it is, and she is her own person, and I, I, I love her to death. Uh, she's close to my age, but not quite as old as I am, and I always like to brush my lashes out but, uh, after I've used liner because in case it gets stuck in my lashes. But uh, this past year, year and a half, Cindy has gone through a divorce. And all of a sudden, Cindy is single in her very early 70s. And for that reason alone, I mean, I don't have that in common with her anymore. But just, just hearing um, Cindy talk about learning how to be single after all these years of being married and she was married for a long long time uh, she's just a hoot I, I, if you're older and you're single check Cindy out if you don't already, I, I bet many of you already do, but she, she's just wonderful. But she was talking about her New Year's resolutions and what she learned last year. She said she didn't learn a darn thing. She really thought about it. She didn't learn anything. And she was just going to continue to spend money and live her life. 
and stay up late and watch Netflix and do all of the things that she wants to do. Go out and have a drink with her girlfriends. So, and then I've watched others who really have feel very strongly about some changes not only they're making, but they have made recently. And why? And I can relate to that too. As we get older, we do change. I think we change our, our opinions, our outlooks. And, and I'm, for me, it's just truly happened in the past very two or three years where I have really, really changed. And, oh, by the, by the way, that's a doll eyeliner or mascara too. The Lash Extending Mascara, Effort Lash XL. It'll be below. I've changed. I know about Spending. Have y'all ever bought any Nicole Cosmetics products? I like them. Uh, this is Palm Beach. It's a cream blush. You can tell I've used it. But I know I've changed in my spending habits. I still... I went through a phase of not spending, of saving and being frugal, as Jim calls it. And I've sort of backed off of that somewhat. I think I'm I think I've gotten real frugal or spendy, I guess, since we've sort of came out of COVID. <laughs> I started, because I've been cooped up for so long, I sort of came out of that. But you know, um, let me, well, here, I'm sorry that I'm rambling so, but Jim and I had been married a few years, and we always were careful about spending our money because you just never know. You never know what could happen. And we certainly wanted to be able to retire or to live the rest of our lives okay. But one day we got an email from my daughter, Jennifer. Many of you know Jennifer. And She didn't write it, but she had come across it, and and she had sent it to us. And someone had written this, and it was about, it was a letter to their parents. I don't know if it was a girl, a female, a son, or a daughter who wrote the letter. And she sent it, and she said, "This is how I feel. This is how I feel, and I wish I could put my hands on it, and if I can find it, I'll put it below so that you can read it too, but it's our adult, it was, you know, from our adult children, and what it said basically is that, you know, listen, you have worked your entire life, and you've saved for this time in your life so that you can retire and not have any worries, and you probably were thinking about what you can leave for financially, monetarily for your children and your grandchildren. 
but it causes you when when you do that it you know and then you retire it causes you to to think that you need to back off so that we can leave our kids more this is the gist of it that we can we need to leave our kids as much as we can and what this article said the author of this article is that forget that just forget it because it's we've worked hard for that money our kids hopefully have figured out how to be successful on their own they they are making a living they maybe they don't need what we have would it enhance their lives maybe they could do things that they couldn't have done otherwise or whatever but they don't need it and we're doing without to give them money that they don't need have you ever thought about that I hadn't okay this is another doll tin it's just a, a palette of blushes and highlighters and I'm gonna do a little bit more here uh, and I'm gonna do a little under here but It, it, it was just good. And ba the bottom line is, spend your money. Don't save it for me, is what she was saying. Don't save it for me. I mean, and if you think about it, our, if we do have money that we could leave our children, you think they're just sitting around waiting for us to die so that they can get it? I hope not. I hope not. S spend every dime you can. And my wish for you is that... My wish for you is that at the end of your life, you've spent everything and you have to ask me for money. Wow. Is that not powerful? It sort of made, not that we changed a whole lot from it, but it really made you stop and think, you know, about it, about doing without so that we can leave money. And, and listen, some of, some of us, our children are, have not been as fortunate as others. Our, our circumstances are all different. And it's not going to be the same for all of us. I got this e.l.f. Uh, Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist from e.l.f. in a PR box recently. Uh, there was not a whole lot in the box that is really appropriate for me. I've... I've tried some of it. I do like this. Let's try it. Oh, I can turn my fan on. Sort of sit down. I mean, we haven't spent money since for two years now because of... Oh, has it gotten dark? Oh, okay. We haven't spent money for two years now because we've been home. A quick trip to... See the grandbabies back in the summer, and then we a little after that we took a trip for um, to go see our little ones, the three and the five year old in Minneapolis. And by the way, this is. BK Beauty, one of those, and I am going to
let's, I pulled this out too. It's a Dior, and I don't know if this is even available. I don't see anything on it. The tiny, tiny, tiny here. I can't read it. Don't know. It's old. So we haven't spent any money to speak of. I'm learning to be flexible. We, um, oh, I didn't put any concealer under my eyes. Uh, I did, but let me grab that out of there. I think I need a little bit more. I'm gonna put it down here on my palette. The light is just sort of coming and going. Sorry about that. But I am, we planned back when things sort of opened up, we planned a cruise. We love to cruise. Many of you know that. And a 10-day a Caribbean cruise. And for this month, in fact, we would be leaving next week. I'm using uh, some of that doll. It's the Doll 10 uh, Doll Skin Perfecting Treatment Powder. It's like a translucent, I think, but it's got a little bit of color in it, not much. Lord, how many of y'all remember these from Tati? I came across that, so I'm gonna dip it in the lid. And so we knew all along that if things changed with this virus that we might have to cancel. And sure enough, we did cancel last week. Jim called and, and canceled. You know, if things loosen up in the spring or late spring, early summer, we'll go, we'll, there'll always be cruises we can take. We will also, uh, Jim also booked an Alaskan cruise for us this summer. I've never been on an Alaskan cruise. Have you been on one? He has uh, with his first wife and he loved it. I've never had any desire to go to Alaska, but I've been at home and not cruising now for two years and are really having a real vacation away from home. So when he suggested an Alaskan cruise again, I just jumped on it. I said, yes, I hate cold weather. I'm not a cold weather person. But I said, yes, it would be in the summertime. It's still going to be chilly up there. But um, I said, yes. So we have that for sure to look forward to also. All right. Uh, I better finish talking about my New Year's resolutions as they are, which they aren't. Here's me. I've, I've watched so many videos, as I've said, and they go from all these major things that they're going to change um, about 2022. And then there's my friend Cindy who says, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. I like my life the way it is. If I'm a few pounds overweight, that's not going to stop me from having a midnight snack, basically. And I sort of feel the same way Cindy does. I, there are some things that I think I would like to maybe work on myself own and maybe the house this year. But you know what? It's not going to be the end of the world. I'm not going to put pressure on myself. If it had to do with my health, my actual health, if I were diagnosed with something that Listen, if getting my act together with my eating or with my exercise would definitely improve my life, uh, I, yeah, I would do it. Now, that doesn't mean I'm not going to exercise or walk or, you know, but continue to be a vegetarian, but I'm going to, I'm just not going to beat myself up. 
I'm going to enjoy as much of my life as I can under the circumstances. That's what I've decided to do. And if it's buying clothes, that's okay. If it's if I decide I get in this spurt and I want to I, I want to not buy things for a while, I'll do that too. But I just I'm just not interested in in anything else at this stage of my life. So I'm I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to have fun. I'm going to have fun. Try to make good decisions when I need to and cheat and have fun when I want to. What about you? Have you made any? Have you made any? You think you'll keep them? <laughs> My experience has been when I made them, I'm one of those, I truly believe that the only way, the only way that we, ch we change anything is when the pain of not changing becomes greater than the pain of changing. And I want to say that again to make sure I said it right. We change when the pain of not changing becomes greater than the pain of the change. That is why alcoholics and drug addicts have to truly hit rock bottom before they change. There's no other place to go. And they make changes. And I think that's true with most things about our lives. It really, it just has to be a real good solid reason that I believe in for me to change. Some people would say, well, you need to change this patty and you need to change that and you need to change that and you need not to buy so many clothes and you shouldn't have all this makeup and why do you have all this stuff sitting around? And, Right now, I have no reason not to continue doing what I'm doing. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. So, if you want to see what I'm going to do to my hair, I'm going to turn the camera off, I'm going to get dressed really quick, and I'll come back, probably, and do my hair. If I don't, if I don't, uh, I want to wish you a happy 2022. My daughter, this is going to be a fun year for her because she was born on February 22nd. So she, her birthday will be 2-22-22. All twos this year. So uh, a fun little fact. So I wish you a happy 2022. And, I, and it's not that I wish you a happy one because I've said so many times that we, nobody can make us happy. Nobody, no thing can make us happy. It can, there are people and there are things that can enhance us, but they can't really make us happy. Happiness comes from inside. So I want to wish you health and a lot of good luck and encourage you to continue to be kind. Know that I love you, and if I don't see you in a few minutes, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, here we go. My hair is wet. And I am, I've been using this forever. It's, and I'm almost out, I need to buy some. It's the L'Oreal Blow Dry it Quick Dry Primer Spray. Cuts dry time, heat protection. That's what it looks like. And trust me when I tell you, you only need a tiny bit of this. Whoops, take the lid off. Those were little bitty squirts coming out of there. 
come through. I'm going to lower this camera. Well, maybe I'll just move up closer to it. Well, maybe I'll lower it. I'm going to use... I don't know. This is one of those uh, Cla Carissa, Clarissa tools that I got off of QVC. And oh, so listen, <laughs> I'm going to use this little brush attachment to sort of get mainly as much of the wetness out of my hair as I can. And then I'm going to change to this one and I'll let you know when I change and what we do here but this this won't take very long but what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast forward and play you some good music I'm probably not going to fast forward. Uh, I probably didn't fast forward, or I won't, because it took such a little. You can see. I mean, that's how long it took with that uh, L'Oreal. So let, I'm going to change brushes. And this is just one of those big oval shaped brushes. And I, tell you what, I do think I'm going to lower.
hairspray. As Callista probably came with that, uh, embellish finishing spray. Who knows what the back looks like? We'll see in a minute. Mira. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure by the end of the day it'll be pulled back. I a lot of you are going to ask about the color, and I will tell you that I finally went for the first time about a month ago and had my color redone, not even a month ago, and I went to someone new because we moved here. I did not have a stylist here, didn't know anybody, and I finally just went online and Googled beauty shops in Pensacola, Florida, and this one popped up as winning the best of the best, and I called and just said, "Can you give me? Can you make me an appointment with someone?" I told her that I was older, and that, but that my hair was long and colored, and so I went, and I really did like her. One of the things that she did was she, because I was really unsure, I had so much white around here, and. I hadn't even colored my hair myself probably in two months at that point. So it was white around my face and I didn't know if I just wanted to go with that all over or to do whatever. So what she did is she took two strands, one on each side of my head right back here, and she did a strand test, uh, different colors. and. One, the first one, I think over here, I didn't really like at all, but I did so, I did like this one. And as it turned out, when she finished the color, it was almost identical to what I have been using uh, to do it myself, except that, of course, it, this was colored in. And look, you can, well, you can already see if I get up close, you can see my white, my hair grows really fast. She, I had been cutting my hair for two years because of COVID, and I told her, I said, you, you're going to have a, you know, you're going to die when you see my haircut because I've been just been cutting it myself, and I said, so just straighten it up the best you can, and she, I mean, she just snipped here, snipped there a couple of places. She said, you know, you really did give yourself a pretty good haircut, so... This is it. And another funny, a really funny story. I probably talked about this at the beginning, but when we booked this cruise uh, for next week, I realized that I thought my passport was getting ready to expire. And sure enough, when I got it out, it had just expired. And so I did it online. I went through the process. But I realized I had to be fast. I had to have that picture. So the day, I, that very same day, I had my hair pulled straight back like I usually wear it with one of those clips. You've seen it a million times in these videos. So I pulled my hair back. Well, it was already pulled back. I didn't do anything to it. I had on a top that was presentable. And I ran to the UPS store. I had, I had everything with me. I ran to the UPS store because I knew that they took... Um, passport photos, and I had the photo made, and they were packed, they were busy, so she really didn't have much time, and I just stood there, and she clicked the picture, and that was it, and she handed them to me, and I went over, and 
attached them to my paperwork that I'd printed off online and uh, had to mail in the picture mainly. And uh, I thought, boy, that's not a good picture. And you know, I've had pictures made before for my passport and for my driver's license. And they'll, if it's not a good picture, they'll always redo it. Uh, with your passport, of course, you have to pay for it. But I just said, you know, I'm, that's okay, that's okay. Well, I got the passport in a few days ago, last week, and I looked at it and I nearly died. Uh, the background of the page that my picture was on was almost the same color as my hair. And when you look at it, all you see really is my face. It looks like I'm bald which there's nothing wrong with being bald, but it looks like I'm bald, like I have no hair. And my hair, what hair is there or that you see just blends in with the color of the page of my passport. So I showed it to Jim and I said, well, I guess since our trip is canceled, I, there's probably some way that I can do part of this or all of this again and take a better picture. And then I thought, I said, you know what? No, I'm not going to do that. I can live with this for 10 years because I'll be living with it for 10 years. That's when I'll have to renew my passport again. So, if you see my passport picture, I will look bald. If, and as a matter of fact, Jim has put our passports away, but if I can get it out, I will, I'll put a picture up here so that you can see it. It's just a hoot. It is a hoot. All right. If you've watched this long, thanks. Love you. Bye.